All right, what's up, y'all? Um, I am on another trip. I'm on my way to the Driftless, uh, and I booked this camp spot. Well, I didn't book it. I just found it online. I thought, you know, it'd be quick. It was kind of on the way. It's like 12 hours from my house. So I figured I would just stop in, stay the night. Um, and it opened up today. It was the, like the first day that it was open. But I got here. This is where it was supposed to be at. And they were like $12 camping, but they're closed. So the Mississippi River is flooded right now. This wasn't online, so I drove all the way here, 12 hours. And um, I'm gonna have to find someplace else, but man. Yeah. I can't get in, so that's a bummer. It's a good way to start off a trip, huh? So I'm gonna need to uh, find some place to be. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, good morning. Uh, drove around a little bit last night, made another hour, found a hotel room, something cheap. But uh, got up early about six, started driving. I was about an hour from where I wanted to fish for my first spot when I got there this morning. There was already somebody there, so I kept driving. Found this other little pull off. So I'm gonna jump in right here. They had a little bit of rain over the weekend, which hopefully should help out the fishing a little bit. Uh, all the reports in the area said that the, uh, the water was a little bit low right now and it was really clear because they hadn't had rain in a long time um, but they got like an inch maybe and it didn't really change the water conditions much that I can tell although I haven't been here uh, in about two years so never fished this stream before I'm gonna start off in waders um, but I don't know how long I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna give it a This is an easement, so I can actually walk the bank a little bit um, if I was going to be in the stream all day. Um, this is one of those uh, Wisconsin's to keep your feet wet state. So, but today I'm going to be in this easement. Um, so anyway, let's go find some fish. I got my 10 foot four weight. Brought a couple other rods. Uh, right now I'm fishing about a 10 foot leader. Uh, it's like seven and a half foot three x, a little bit of four x, a little bit of five x. I'm fishing five x to my. I'm gonna start off with a little foam pattern uh, and a perdigon. But it's caddis season, so hopefully we'll be throwing some dries here soon. I just wanted to basically just prospect a little bit, see if we can find some fish. Um, like I said, I've never fished a stream before, so kind of wanted to go with a confidence pattern for me, and this is this is what that is. Um, foam, you know, dry dropper. Uh, give them something on top, something below. I uh, got some caddis too, might throw in a caddis in it. We'll just go figure it out, I'm not really sure. Yeah, let's walk up here and cross the stream. Okay, so this trip I was gifted uh, the Trout Routes app from the people at Trout Routes that reached out to me. Asked me if I'd be willing to use their, their app this year, and I was like, sure, I'll give it a shot. So, uh, I haven't used it much, haven't really looked at it much, but I uh, goofed off a little bit and went ahead and saved some streams. It's a pretty cool app. What I did realize last night, which would have, I should have, if I had known better and had used the app more, I would have I would have jumped on that as soon as I found my campsite was flooded and I couldn't camp there. Because like two miles away was a state park that I drove past. Um, when I looked at the app last night, sure enough, it was, you know, all the state parks and things like that are, are listed. I didn't know, I didn't even think about using it, but uh, I booked my hotel room and I drove to it and when I made the reservation, they told me um, that it was already too late to cancel. So that is definitely one of those things where that, that by itself would have probably paid for the app if I wanted to use it. But we'll see, uh, think, it's good looking water. A bunch of midges bouncing around. Okay. Okay, so I went about an hour didn't get far and I was burning up in the waders so I decided I didn't see any fish didn't catch anything I think I might have hooked one but it, the water didn't look great so I wanted to relocate anyway so I took that time decided I would get out of my waders relocate to another section of the stream and uh, see if it's got some better fish I've checked it out already it looks a little bit better the other part it was just a little bit silty 
Um, didn't look like really great trout water, so we'll try this next section. You can see this section already looks better. It's hoping to find. See some fish rising, maybe. Throw some caddis dries, but I'm trying to stay far enough off the bank that I'm not spooking any fish, but that I can also see. But I'm gonna walk down. I had to park at the basically I'm gonna walk back to my truck. So I gotta walk down a little bit and fish my way back. It's good looking water. Okay, so I walked up a little bit, started fishing, and another guy walked in. Stopped and talked to me, told me him and his buddy were here, so I um, guess we're gonna spread out a little bit and try to fish the same section as three of us, so um, don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay. I did go ahead and switch it up to a caddis. Um, right now I have like a little sexy waltz on, but I had a CDC, and I'll show that later. It was picking up some good fish, so I might switch back to that shortly, but uh, I broke it off on the bottom. So I don't feel like going through too many of them, but it seems like it was a, I had a couple of really aggressive eats on it. So they came, you can see them charge up off the bottom and take it. So caddis are definitely on the menu right now. So it makes sense. Let's work this. Right. 
first fish ate the dry. Nice. All right, what a fun way to start a trip. Looks like uh, a couple other people are starting to load up here. So I went ahead and uh, decided I would pack in. I got about another hour to get to the other spot I want to get to. So, but uh, what a what a day. That's fun. Some beautiful browns. I'm gonna make some lunch and hang out here for an hour or so, 10 minutes and do nothing. This is the camping spot for the next three nights. Cool. If there's any, I'm gonna gather some firewood around here. Let's go look and see. So I found this online, thought it'd be a good little spot. Um, it's booked Saturday, Friday night, Saturday night, so I have to move Friday and Saturday and then I can come back. Creek access to all right I just wanted to come look at this real quick so I didn't have any surprises like last night so man what a cool spot this is awesome I'm super excited about the camping spot all right guys so relocated to a little creek that's kind of close to camp let's see if there's anything in here Saw something flash.
a couple fish down there. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh man, this driftless is awesome. All right, so back at camp, thinking I'm gonna go with a backpack meal tonight because I'm tired. Uh, it's been 12 hours driving, 13 hours driving yesterday. Another couple today, um, and then just fishing all day. So uh, I think I'm gonna wait till I feel I have a little more energy. So got a couple fettuccine alfredo, or probably going to rice and chicken. 500 calories to 820. Going with the 820 calorie one. I need some calories tonight, so. Uh, but yeah, we'll get up in the morning. Go find another stream. That's the craziest thing about uh, this area is there's just, I don't know how many miles it is, but it is a, you just, there's, you know, if you don't mind small water, there's more here than anybody could fish in a lifetime, so it be fun. All right, good morning. I got up early. Well, I thought it was early. It was like five o'clock. Got to the first stream I wanted to fish at seven. And there was somebody, two people there actually. I went a little bit further down, found another stream, same thing, two more people. Ended up on another stream, so after an hour and seeing nothing but people at accesses, I'm finally at a spot. I think I might relocate again. There's gotta be some clear streams in the area. I'm going to put this down as a place to come back and look at later, but let me just throw a couple casts in here and say I did, but looks real, real chocolate in me. Okay, been driving around for a little bit, found a uh, spot on the side of the road that had a bridge crossing and there was nobody parked. So I'm, uh, I'm going to wet a line here because I'm tired of driving. So um, it's good looking water. And it's clean so not that you can't fish stain water but I think I'll wait for it to clear just a little bit I like a little bit of stain for sure I don't really feel like throwing streamers caddis there should be popping off I mean it might be a little cold today the temperature it changed a lot between yesterday and today um, last night got down to 40 um, and today it's the only highs only like 60 so about a 20 20 degree change so but let's go see if we can figure it out <laughs> start off dry dropper that doesn't seem productive might start nymphing I took the merger off the drop fly. Just to figure it out with nymph and also with the wind. It might be easier to throw a pinch on indicator. And then some of these holes. I just had to switch back and forth, but pretty fish. Pretty 
That's a little better fish. Alright, ate the emerger too. There we go. So, fishing 5x fluorocarbon to a little bead head, and then a little caddis. It's an unweighted CDC caddis. Same thing I was using yesterday without a bead head though. I wanted to, want to kind of swim a little bit better, not necessarily get straight down like I would on it with a, a dry dropper rig. Another pretty good, decent fish. Skinny little guy. I like that merger. All right, what a fun day. Uh, fished up, caught some fish, lots of little wild browns. Saw a really good one. But uh, towards the end there, it kind of got, kind of got creaky. My uh, 10 foot rod is becoming more of an issue than, than the fisher. It's, the stream is getting shallower and the runs aren't as, aren't as nice. So decided to go ahead and pack up. Plus I'm getting hot and I'm hungry. So it's a good time for lunch. That's a great dry fly eat. Okay, so I relocated to another stream. I got my seven and a half foot three weight. Uh, I was driving by, looked down here, I saw some fish rising, so I was like, I'm gonna jump out, um, see if I can get one of them to eat a dry fly. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish this stream. Um, it's kind of windy, seven and a half foot three weight. Fish are eating dry, though, so I'm gonna, I gotta stay with it. Cool thing, when I left the, uh, the other stream, kind of got creaky and it was kind of hard to fish with my 10 foot ride. Um, I was walking the road and a guy from Arkansas stopped. I'm not sure if he knew I was from Arkansas or not, but he offered me a ride. So I got to jump in the back of his truck. Saved me about a mile of walking, so that was cool.
All right, so the pancakes are uh, they're last on, but the little shaking board thing's pretty cool. Um, it's supposed to get like 15, 12 to 15 pancakes. I'm gonna get like four. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat because I'm starving and I have to cook everything in one pan at a time. So I might go ahead and get another frying pan, but for tonight, that's what I got. So I'm gonna eat. It looks good. I'm starving. Hope you guys enjoying the video. All right, it's 6.30. What a fun day. Start off a little bit not as planned. Uh, the stream I wanted to fish, the first place I got to had two cars. The second place I got to had one car. So I drove up the road and there was two cars and I didn't see anybody. I went one more spot and there was one car and there was three people getting out. So I, uh, I just turned around. I was like, there's way too many people and I had only covered like a mile and a half of road which is probably three or four miles of river but that's just too many people in a small little stretch so then i relocated got out um i don't know why i didn't look at the stream first but i went ahead and put my waders on i just assumed it was the same section of the stream um and it wasn't blown out so i don't know what maybe i didn't look well at the other spot i'm not really sure anyway it was chocolate milk um once i got down there i was like this does not look like any place i want to be today uh, especially not having fished the stream before and not know anything about it um kind of wanted to didn't want to waste my day right there so relocated again um found a, a cool stream lots of browns uh didn't hadn't still hadn't found a good caddis hatch um i've been waiting for that for like an hour and a half um but anyway uh fish some fish are looking up uh but not like what i was hoping for I think two years ago when I came, uh, I came really early. The olives were out, and I got into a olive hatch, and the browns were just—I mean, they were just—they were. It looked like they were popcorn in the water. It was so much fun, and that's what I was kind of hoping for with caddis this time. A little bit later in the season, a lot busier, um, but still finding some fish looking up. So that's kind of fun. Uh, they're definitely responding to the caddis nymphs, uh, and I'll show you. I'll take a picture of them, put them in the video. Uh, there's a little CDC. Um, it's basically just hairs ear dubbing, you know, fat body, uh, wrap it with uh, either flashaboo or a gold wire, or green wire, whatever you want. Um, but I do weight it down because this fly is, un is unweighted. I fish it off my dries and I use it as my second fly. I fish it behind uh, bead head flies a lot, but uh, they seem to love it. Like a lot of the fish I'm catching, they're, I'm having to use my, my nippers uh, to get the, the, the fly out. They're all barbless, but they're not, they're not like, kind of eating it they're 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 you know choking it basically so um tells me that they really like that fly uh, i only brought four of them with me and uh, i lost two and one in a tree and one on the bottom so kind of got some other flies that got bead heads and things like that and they're they seem like they're catching fish but that those emergers right now are i got into a hole today where it was they weren't giant fish you know six to eight inch fish but i mean sometimes the fly barely hit the water and they were chasing it down but uh, i had a good day um, that second stream, I went in with my three weight, uh, and or I guess I was yeah, it was the third stream. Went in with my three my three weight. I uh, thought I'd find some some fish to raise and to dries and emergers, and I just want to do something different. Even though I, I crossed the bridge, looked down, saw some some splashy rises, and I thought, you know what, I might find some fish eating caddis, and I did. There were a few of them. Uh, I could see some bigger fish in the bottom, so I went back and I nymphed a little bit, but I didn't pick up any of the bigger fish. Picked up some fish, but I wanted to spend. Um, my time on that stream throwing dry flies with my three weight and I had a good time. It was a fun fun day And then uh, I had about two hours left in the day. And I relocated to a stream I was gonna fish it tomorrow hadn't fished it before wasn't really sure and uh, Based off of what I've seen today with streams being busy I didn't know if it was gonna be worth my time So I went spent about an hour there lots of brook trout some small browns that stream looks like a stream to me uh, And I might do some research when I get back home and I can read up on it. It looks like it's a project uh, it's got some really, really good looking water. They've, you can tell people have gone in. They've uh, put some, some rock along the edges. There are some lunker structures. There are some deep holes with logs that were put in place. You can tell they were buried. And there's some rebar and things like that. that are. There's The stream has been improved. The fish aren't quite there yet. Lots of brook trout. And maybe it's going to be a brook trout stream. It looks like a place. There should be some browns. It's got some deep holes, some woody structure. Uh, I expect that maybe in five years, three or five years, five, six, seven, whatever it is, that could be one of the streams that people talk about. It was, it had the water, 
just didn't quite have the fish yet. Tons of brook trout though, so it was fun. Uh, but I took my four weight there. So most of the day I fished my 10 foot four weight, fishing, uh, you know, down to 5x, about 10 feet down in my first fly. Um, and then I went to 6x towards the end of the day because the water got clear. Uh, and then when I was fishing um, my 7.5 foot three weight, I was throwing uh, a really long leader on that one. It's probably like 11 foot. That water was crystal clear, it was shallow. Um, that to me tells me, you know, long leaders, fine tippet. I was doing six X to my dry and six X to the, uh, to the, uh, emerger. So that pretty much wraps up. Um, what is that? Day one. So I drove down, fished all day yesterday, fished all day today. So that's two days of fishing. Um, yeah, lots of fish, man. It's been a good trip. It's been a good time. 